oh, what's the old saying? Oh, Jews are a girl's best friend? Well, maybe, unless she's goth. Then it's probably a pair of these. That's right, boots. So today's video, I thought it would be interesting to open my closet, pull out all of my Killstar boots, and take a look at what I've been collecting over the last couple of years. I love Killstar's boots. They are big, chunky, bit heavy, stylish, and surprisingly rather comfortable. So let's take a look. Let's see what amazing things I have collected and I'm gonna rate my top three favorites and we'll try them on. So let's take a look. The first pair of boots we're gonna look at are my Nico boots. These are a general staple in the Killstar uh, store and actually were the, okay. The first pair of boots we're going to look at are actually the very first pair I ever bought from Killstar. Before this, I had bought a few pairs from like Demonia and Amazon and anywhere else I could find black boots. And honestly, they just kept falling apart and I actually discovered Killstar through recommendation and looking for a pair of boots. I could not pass up on these super adorable boots. These are the Nico boots. You see the cute cat. I just fell in love with that. I love cats. And they are flat and so it's they're very comfortable. The reason they're so dirty though, it's a rather silly story. Kyle last year did Tough Mudder. If you're not familiar with what Tough Mudder is, it is a uh, obstacle course and marathon. He did a 10k and I went as a spectator. I was told that it was supposed to rain and I didn't really want to wear my just my regular running shoes because they just absorb all the water. So I thought this would be a great idea. I will wear these boots. It did not rain. It was hot. And it was rocky, dirty, dusty terrain. And no matter how many times I clean these poor boots, I think they are permanently marked by Tough Mudder. But the best part was I may have worn these for three hours in the dirt, but they were super, super comfortable. So if you're looking for a comfy, flat bottom boot that's also very cute, I highly recommend these. They do run a little large, so I would recommend getting maybe a size smaller. These are a little big for me. These are a nine. I generally wear um, a nine in most other shoes, but really Killstar boots, I tend to wear a size smaller. So let me know what you think. I love these boots. They're super cute. The next pair of boots are the bloodletting knee highs. These boots are really awesome looking. They have this amazing, you know, cross stitching in the front and the buckles on the bottom. They're a very simple kind of style, but they go with everything, which is really, really nice. And they fit really snugly. The best part about all of Killstar's boots is they do have a zipper to put them on. When I first started wearing boots again, I was like, I have to have the tie-up ones. It's just tradition. Yeah, blow tradition out of the water. It's such a pain in the butt after like wearing them for hours and you just want to take your shoes off. The last thing you want to do is undo all of this. <laughs> so yeah, it's a huge benefit with Killstar. I can throw them on, run out the door. I look very stylish, look amazing, and they're rather comfortable. That is one thing I do have to say about Killstar's boots, is they all are rather comfortable, even with the big heel. I get a lot of comments like, isn't that hard to walk in? Aren't they heavy? They are heavy after a while, but they're not uncomfortable at all, and um, actually find them to be rather safe. They're very sturdy uh, um, heels and stuff. So these ones, if you're looking for a nice stylish boot, they are generally in store most of the time. This is a pretty uh, common one that they keep in all the time, but I highly recommend the Bloodletting Boot. Such a cool name too. The next boot is one that I pretty much wear really regularly, and this is the Broom Rider Boots. As you can tell, they are very well loved. I wear these just about every day. They are my absolute favorite. 
And I think they are kind of the, the core concept style boot. Most of Killstar's boots kind of have this wide wedge heel and they seem to just change out kind of the buckles and the designs on the front and on the back. This one's got a nice simplistic back. The reason that I like this one so much is I love this moon on the front. It's nice and shiny. And I like this kind of um, cross-stitched front with the little eye eyelids. I would highly recommend the Broom Rider boots. Yeah, they're awesome. Last year, when Killstar did their bath drop, they also released a boot. And I just so happened to be at the time doing some wedding attire shopping. And when I saw these boots, I knew that these were the ones. So I'm actually going to be marrying Kyle in the Belfry Bats boots. I absolutely love these bats. They are just so awesome. I knew that wearing heels for the wedding was not going to work for me. So I decided that an amazing pair of boots. I needed something new, but I will not be wearing something blue. It'll all be black. So it'll have to do. I've never been a big fan of pointed toe shoes until I saw these. These are the Annihilation boots. And they do have some mighty pointy uh, fronts to these shoes. But the way that the boot is actually made, it's not really tight around the toes, which is one of the reasons I generally have steered clear of pointy shoes. They actually form really nicely, so by the time your toes actually get down here, there's enough room. They're actually really comfortable. These are probably one of the very few boots that I probably wouldn't wear for hours on end, only because of that kind of narrow part, but that's just me. Um, I do prefer kind of more of the rounded shoe, but the look of these are really nice. And they also kind of double as semi formal because of the shoe front. So I, I wear these to, you know, events where I will dress up because they do kind of fit the bill without having to wear high heels. Um, I used to wear heels exclusively and honestly, I just don't want to do that anymore. <laughs> they are very uncomfortable. So, you know, having the heel, the height and the pointed, you know, fancy shoe I think these are a big win. The only other thing that I don't really care for about this shoe, and this might seem a bit petty, is the shoelaces fall off so easily from the eyelets that every single time I have to zip them up and then still lace them up, which can be really inconvenient, like if I'm in a hurry. So it's not exactly my go-to shoe for everyday use, but I do enjoy it. I do wear them quite a bit to different events and they look really nice. They do really look really nice and the back is really comfortable. It's actually got some really nice padding in the back so they are nicely form fitting and you know they're a great shoe. I really like it. The last pair of boots I'm going to share with you are the striker boots. These are actually my most recent purchase. I just really liked this metal striker band on the top and this kind of rippled look down the front. I thought it just had just some really nice embellishments and it also has these kind of bands on the back. They're just more decorative than anything uh, but they are the exact same boot as the Broom Rider boot. Exactly the same. <laughs> just different embellishments. So they fit exactly the same. They're very comfortable, very easy to wear, zippered, same boot as the Moon Riders, or Broom, excuse me, Broom Riders, and I'm sure many other boots that I have down here, they do seem to have like kind of this consistent um, sole. And uh, I think that makes it easy to buy boots because you kind of know what size to get. Makes it easier when you're shopping online, for sure. Now I've shown you my collection of Killstar boots. Keep in mind, I've only been buying shoes for about the last two years, so it's a bit of an extensive collection for two years. But I have already my 
favorites. I have three absolutely favorite pair of shoes and I don't know if you can guess based on the descriptions I gave, but my top three in no specific order, number one is the Broom Raider boots. Comfortable, simple, and, and yet still very stylish. This boot in particular is um, one of my absolute favorites. I just am so glad I picked these up. They have been a go-to staple. So first of three. Number two, surprisingly, despite all of the things I had to say uh, about these shoes, is actually the Annihilation boots. And the reason why these are one of my top three favorites is the style. The style is great. It's, you know, got a unique look. I love the buckles. I do love the <gasps> Lastly, and no surprise, are the Striker boots. Very comfortable, similar to the Broom Rider boots, as I had mentioned before, but something about the name and the striker plate, just, I love these boots. Every time I wear them, I love them. I love how they look, I love how they make me feel, and I, that's like the most important part of fashion is how it makes you feel. So this one is part of my top three. So now it's time to try them on. <laughs> that I have picked up over the last couple of years and even a pair of heels. Out of my top three, was that one of your favorites or was it one of the others? Would you have picked maybe the bloodletting knee highs or maybe even the sandals? I'm curious to know, drop a comment below. But otherwise, it's time for me to get out of here and until we cross paths again, make sure that you take care of yourselves, be good to each other, and I will see you all next time. Bye.